I was one of very few lawyers who went to Guantanamo, have ever gone to Guantanamo, so I felt this looks great for me. And then I walk into a secret prison, which is one of the three secret prisons in Guantanamo, and I saw a tragically unhappy, um, injured young boy who looked like a little broken sparrow to me in a solitary concrete cell with no windows, chained to a floor. And I, and I walked in there, as I say, as a lawyer, and I came out as a very sad father. And so I had said in a bravado type of way to Omar when he had said to me in a passing comment as I was leaving that cell, that you will leave me, everybody does. And I promised I wouldn't. And so with some, I say bravado, foolishness, I, I took on the government. I took on the American government. I took on the Canadian government. Um, because I thought it was wrong, it was evil and something should be done. And so as, that has, as the years have progressed, um, for, for me and for my family, um, I think it'd be wonderful to restore this young man back into society and give him the opportunities that he's never had so that he can contribute to society. And I have every faith he can do that. 